Welcome everyone back again with another video relentless relentless so welcome all so what we are doing now is we are on part six of the truth about Piers Corbyn part six out of 73 so we have him here um, with this gesture now my queen uh, my missus said that it looked like a Masonic gesture. I haven't looked into that yet, but, it, you know, it's something rings a bell about it. But what is funny is that not only is he doing that, there is someone else that is connected to him who I've got a picture of who's also doing that. And it's very weird, like it's kind of fate that I've found both of these images. So... There you go. Yeah. So for those who don't know, that is a gentleman called Pavlov who goes to Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park, London. All right. Now, the crux of the matter is it looks like he has bodyguards because he has two people there all the time uh, protecting him from any kind of conflict, even though he doesn't hold back and is very rude to people. Um... That is actually Pavlov, and here we have proof that he is actually an actor. This is one agency he's with. I do also have proof of another agency as well that's on other videos. Um, so, you know, if we found two, then I'm sure there's probably others on all kinds of, um, you know, there might even be a crisis acting agency one as well somewhere. You never know. So that's who that is, okay? So how are they connected? Why why am I talking about them together? Well, there you go. You can see that, guys, right? You can see um, our illustrious leader, Piers Corbyn, uh, blowing his nose. And there you can see the Pavlov guy that I mentioned, the one who's a proven actor, right? So my my thesis is that Piers Corbyn is an actor as well. So it's quite funny, isn't it, that, um, you know, they're both connected and they're both... Um, you know, very possibly just actors playing a part. You know, at the end of the day, we all believe that politicians play a part, don't we? That they're just actors. And this guy, Piers Corbyn, is actually brothers with one. So why would he be any different when his own brother is part of the government? And he was campaigning to get Jeremy Corbyn back into the government. But yet he is supposedly anti-government now, anti-lockdown, anti-mask, etc, etc. So work that one out, guys. Yeah. Anyway, so they're connected, as you can see. Um, there, you know, there they are. And also you can see Haiku Ku. Now we will do a video about Piers Corbyn and Haiku Ku because they are connected as well. All right. But for now, we're going to talk about Piers Corbyn and Pavlov. Uh, etc. Okay, so they're connected, and look, this is on New Year's Eve, guys. <laughs> so Piers Corbyn and Pavlov spent New Year's Eve together, guys. Let that sink in, all right? Because Pavlov is always distancing himself from Piers Corbyn. Yeah. Oh, I just happened to be there. Yeah, he wanted someone to to hold something for him. Yeah, he just. Whatever, mate. Yeah. Um, but anyway, they spent New Year's Eve together. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Out of all the people in the world they could have chosen to spend it with, Pavlov and Piers Corbyn decided to spend it together. How wonderful. Beautiful. Um, so, yeah, that's Pavlov. Okay, so just a quick introduction to him, if you haven't heard about him, which you should have done by now. Uh, so let's go back to Piers Corbyn and his weird hand gestures. Yeah, so that's that. He's just outside his office, all right, on this picture. Um, and there he is, shake, about to shake hands with Grey Bleeder, who I've made many, many, many videos about. Another discreditor, someone hired to discredit the truth movement. That's why he's there, Okay. Um, there's our illustrious leader, Piers, looking his best for the camera as always. This guy here is the one who's going to stop the new world order. He's going to bring us all together and he's going to stop it. You know, forget, 
guys forget that he's his brother's a politician and was almost prime minister you know forget that guys you know he's with us he's anti-government <laughs> what a joke man no wonder I can make so many um, episodes of Piers Corbyn uh, because it's just so much material, guys. Yeah. Let's have a look at his office, right? Look at the state of this, guys. <laughs> look at his computer. It's totally open. Bottle of water there. Glass of water there. Bottles of water there. Oh, my goodness me. Look at the state of this, guys. He's got, like, fridge magnets on the side of his computer. Cables everywhere. <laughs> his computer exposed. Stuff all over there. Bottles of water. Oh, my God. He's like he's in a bunker. <laughs> Fallout bunker, mate. <laughs> he can't even keep... A clean and tidy workplace. Yet you think that this guy's going to be the mayor of London, bruv. Come on now. <laughs> oh, man. And there's his, his onken pot. He obviously likes onken, yeah? <laughs> Passion fruit flavour. How many fans has he got? One, two. Oh, my God. This is just simply like Back to the Future. Doc, yeah? It's like Back to the Future. This guy's Doc. But the only thing is he's not conducting any kind of scientific experiments enabling us to go back into the into the past or in the future. He's just literally hoarding water and fans and accumulating mess. How is this guy going to stop the New World Order if he can't even stop himself... <laughs> Looking like that and living like that. <laughs> they do this on purpose, all right? They do this on purpose. They're trying to make out like he's some mad old man and that you are never going to be able to get anywhere because if, you know, this is who's leading us, guys. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Yeah, so that's that's like his back cave. He's probably got like Alfred there, the butler as well. You know, <laughs> getting his cardigans ironed <laughs> and his cold sore cream. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh because he's supposedly the leader of our resistance movement, guys. But personally, I believe that me and Lionheart are doing them more at the moment because literally what we're doing is we're exposing um, snakes and traitors, you know. Um, and yeah, so basically I saw I saw his like office a while ago on Good Morning Britain. As you can see, he's got this massive stop new normal sign and it just looks really like crazy where he where he works you know and for all we know he, he doesn't even go there it's just for show yeah it's just for show so yeah that's Piers Corbin part six out of 73 and what we've seen is his connection to this Pavlov guy he spends New Year's Eve with him Pavlov is actually an actor who has bodyguards at speaker's corner and is involved in what looked like fake and staged events. So is this guy, Grey Bleeder here, with a cigarette in his mouth. So basically, Piers Corbin is connected to actors and discreditors who fake arrests, fake police scuffles, etc., etc. And we all know how many times Piers Corbin has been arrested, yeah? he's He's been arrested more times than... Um, I don't know, man. I can't even think of anyone. Yeah? But don't worry, guys. Our future is safe because we've got him as our leader, right? He will stop the New World Order in its tracks. Him and his, and his actor mates like Pavlov, yeah? What a weird situation. Anyway, that was part six out of 73 and we've got lots more to come. So hope that one was good for you. Um, I just find his whole like office absolutely 
insane. So let's just leave it on that. All the mess <laughs> in his office. And there we go. The Resistance. The leader of the Resistance. There you go, guys. Piers Corbyn. Piers Corbyn. The, the next mayor of London. The, <laughs> the one who's going to stop the New World Order. Oh, my goodness me. Anyway, part six out of 73, part seven to come very soon. All the best to you. No new normal. Unite the people to fight the evil. This is John Overkill. We are over and out. Knowledge is power. Where there is darkness, we shine the light the brightest. Peace. <laughs>